This is the Media Mark Weather Show. I hope everyone's had some nice Christmas and nice holiday season, as well as New Year's, whatever it's been going on, your Christmas, whatever you celebrate. And uh, here's a look at some photos some of you sent in over the br uh, Christmas break here. You can see uh, Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. A nice snowfall here, falling from, you know, nice snowflakes here on Christmas Eve. Thank you, uh, Derek, for sending this in. This is the first flakes before, right before on a Christmas Eve here. So very nice to see those flakes coming down. And many of you saw these uh, across the Mid-Atlantic and portions of the Northeast. So very Christmassy across much of the area. Take a look at uh, some of the photos Derek sent in. Of course, after Christmas, the 26th, there was even more snow that fell across the area. And as you can see, Derek captured this quite perfectly. You can see a lot of snow that fell anywhere from two to four inches across the general forecast area of southern and central Pennsylvania. You can see a good smattering of snow there across much of uh, Pennsylvania. So very nice, very nice capturing of photos puts you in the holiday Christmas mood across much of Pennsylvania. And as you can see, he even posts some photos here of his Christmas tree. Very nice Christmas tree, Derek. It's nice to see some good, nice Christmas stuff going on. So very nice and hope all of you had a very nice Christmas. So we head on into portions of the, uh, all right, we're heading on into Robert Jason Stone here. Take a look at some of these photos here. We've got some uh, lake effect snow videos here. Lake effect snow here from Fredonia, New York. This was just after Christmas, you can see. Look at the heavy snow. You almost can't see anything on camera. It's not the quality of the camera. It is the snow, the amount of snowfall that's coming down at a really fast rate here across to, off of Lake Erie. So you can see a good deal of snow. Thank you, Robert, for capturing this. And you can see another video here uh, pretty much the same scenario here, visibility less than a tenth of a mile in most instances, almost less than that. So very nice captures there, Robert. Some of the heaviest snowfall rates on Earth are in lake effect snow bands. So thank you for sending those in. And uh, let's take a look at some of those videos. We head over to uh, Lenny Mandola here on Christmas Eve. Take a look at this photo here. He's got some alto cumulus clouds and he classified them perfectly here. They, they are alto cumulus clouds. They often form in these striations, these row patterns. And it's ahead of this snow shower activity, that front that started to occur and that brought a lot of uh, some interesting snowfall totals to upstate New York and Pennsylvania for that matter. Had some snowflakes falling and making you in the Christmas spirit, Christmas night into the 26th. So very nice. And Lenny Mandola is also in Killington. And take a look at this. He heads upwards of 16 inches. Look at this winter weather wonderland here. Many of you will be seeing this in the standardized cities and the rural suburbs, wherever you may be in the mid-Atlantic and northeast with this upcoming storm. This is what this video is all about. So we'll take a look at that. Killington, nice shot, Lenny. And if we take a look here at uh, Mark Oleg here, he's uh, from, let me see if I can get this right, Max Patch, North Carolina, on December 25th. He has two photos. Snow fell on the Tuesday before Christmas, and most of it, some of it remained on yesterday. Take a look at these nice, stunning photos here. These are beautiful. This is in North Carolina, Max Patch, on Christmas Day. Look at this. Some nice snowfall on the ground. You can't get much better than this across portions of higher elevations in North Carolina. Look at that nice capture there mark and uh, hope hopefully you're enjoying it because that's a nice place to spend your holiday and christmas season into new year's so very nice i like those photos everybody sent in some very nice photos that sent them in here so very nice i hope all of you continue to send in photos and many of you will have photos to send in with the upcoming winter storm across the area so let's take a look at the the particulars on that winter storm if we take a look we've got a good deal here of uh, problems here in the forecast of course the GFS is slightly less con or slightly cons more conservative than the euro but they're all coming around to a generalized solution of a clipper style system merging with a Gulf of Mexico Gulf system here 
pushing off out of the southeast and combining forces to create a giant mess here, particularly Thursday and Friday. And many of the models are bombing the low all the way down to say 965, some even lower, some about 970. That's a very, very healthy, extremely deep low pressure system. So that's the scenario, big, huge comma structure with this storm. What do I think for snowfall totals? Well, I can't get ex exactly particular in very detailed, but you can see the general idea here across much of the Northeast. Let me stand off the screen so everybody can see their location that's either in the Appalachians or portions of the Northeast. And you can see a good deal of problems here in the Northeast corridor. Many of the big cities being affected most likely by this system and many areas interior. Euro is the Euro model is indicating a stripe of uh, interesting weather here across inland New York, inland New England, extending down towards inland Pennsylvania for that matter, and portions of the Appalachians. It will be interesting to see if this materializes into the uh, perfect scenario here for this winter storm. But th these are the snowfall totals. These are my generalized snowfall totals that I'm expecting across the general forecast area. Now, I'm pretty much just going to, fo there will be lake effect snow off Lakes Erie and Ontario before this. But for right now, I think the main system that bears watching is this system here in the east. And I think these snowfall totals, the snowfall total map is the most important to deal with at this current time. So that's what we're looking at here for snowfall totals here in the Northeast, the generalized amounts. It will give or take depending on exact track and location of this system. So stay tuned and I will issue emergency video statements based on exact data at that current time. So I may not issue a big long video like I am now. I will issue shorter, small, smaller segments to deal with this system. That's going to do it here at MediaMark. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. Here's a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers in the Susquehanna region of New York and the Northeast Pennsylvania Susquehanna corridor. Look at this. We head on into the big t days here. I'm just going to fo focus on the Thursday and Friday corridor. The big story after the storm moves through is the cold air. Look at that. Lots of cold air, but take a look at the snow here that we're going to be dealing with, particularly from just the mid-morning on Thursday, maybe into the early morning hours, 3 or 4 a.m. starting Wednesday or Thursday morning, heading on into even as far as Thursday night. We could be dealing with 4 to 8 inches with locally higher amounts to a foot in many areas of our forecast area. So four to eight inches seems like a good bet at this point with possibly a foot in some of the more persistent, heavier snow bands. It could be more or less depending on your exact area. That's gonna do it here at Meteomark. <music>